Hello everybody and welcome to my home. Welcome back to my channel. Here we are at the long-awaited apartment tour. I've been remaking my apartment for the past six months. I've had so much fun doing it and we are finally complete and it is time for an apartment tour. So if you're new to my channel from this video, hello, my name is Lauren. I've been making over my apartment for the past six months, like I just said. I'll have all of my videos linked down below. We did a video for each room. It was so much fun and I'm so excited to share the whole apartment with you now. So let's just get into the video. So when you first walk in, you walk into this entryway. I have this coat rack that my parents actually made. I had this in my New York City apartment as well and it's so useful. We have all of our shoes below. We can put our skateboards here, hats, gloves. There's hooks to put bags and then all of these hooks to put our coats. It's super helpful. We also have a coat closet right here but this just makes it easier to grab your jacket on the way out the door. We have this jute rug right here that I actually had in my New York apartment as well. This was in my living room and it was literally the size of my living room, which is just hilarious now because it's almost like too small for this space. And then when you walk in, to the left we have Lauren's room and bathroom and then straight ahead is living room with the kitchen to the right. First we'll head into the living room. If this is the first time seeing my channel, this is the first time seeing this room, but if you guys are subscribers, you probably have seen this room before because I did a whole video on remaking this room. When you first walk in, we have this beautiful Monstera plant. It has grown so much. I have to rotate her because she grows towards the windows. This rug is from World Market. Couches were gifted. If you wanna know where everything is, I'll have everything linked down below. But to the left, I made this entertainment center out of side tables and a door with the TV. This room is so cozy and it gets the best light with these windows. It's a little cloudy today, but the sun is peeking through. But on a super nice day, this whole wall is covered with sunlight. To the right, when you walk in, we have a lamp, chair, and little bookshelf that I actually made out of a pallet. I love this space, it's super colorful. We also have some fall decor. I'm so excited to decorate for Christmas. It is coming up soon. We're gonna put a tree in this corner. It's going to be amazing. But as you walk over here, we have a little bar cart area. Super cute, cozy vibes. It's the best vibes in this room. And I just am obsessed, it's a dream. This is a dream apartment. Over here we have the dining room table that I made with my dad and then all of our mixed match chairs that we got on Facebook Marketplace, thrifted, a number of places. Usually the dining room would be over here, but we wanted this space to feel really open and like a living dining situation, which I really like the way we did it because I feel like we use the dining room table more this way. So under the dining room table, we just have a jute rug. This is from, I believe, World Market. And it just completes this space. Over here we have a record player. This is Lauren's, I love it. I want to get my own record player someday because it's just such fun vibes to like put on and you know, listen to some vinyl. Our windows are absolutely insane. We get the beautiful Vermont fall leaves and it's just so beautiful. I'm very excited for winter to get this a beautiful snowy view. So this is a view of the living room from this corner. We have so many string lights, as you can see. I feel like it just makes the place look cozy and it makes it look complete. Warm lights really help the space. Also, we don't have any overhead lighting, so we needed to find other sources of light. So now walking over here, we have the newest addition or the most recent makeover, which is our yoga room. We got this hammock on Facebook Marketplace actually from someone that lives in this building. It was a really big struggle to hang it so make sure you check out that video because it was a struggle but it all worked out and it looks amazing and then as you walk in we have some rugs layered we have a yoga mat and then the coolest ever mirror hello we got this for free on facebook marketplace i cannot believe we got this for free 
It's huge. It's like 42 by 48 inches. Some little candles below. Candles, candles. I tried to make this as cozy as possible because it is our little yoga space. We've got jump ropes, resistance bands, a shopping cart, <laughs> and a lovely little propagation wall. You'll see in my room, I actually have the same exact setup in my room. The little vases are from CB2. Super easy way to bring some color to your walls without doing, you know, the typical art. So then to our right here is the kitchen. Just for reference, living room is to the right. I actually don't think I've shown the kitchen on my channel yet. Maybe in my apartment tour, my empty apartment tour actually. But it's pretty simple, basic kitchen. We got our fridge, we've got our microwave, oven, and dishwasher. Pretty lucky to have a dishwasher. This is like my first time really having a dishwasher. In college I did, but I really love how there's this window that opens up out here. It just brings some light into the kitchen and if someone's making dinner or drinks, someone could be sitting in the hammock, sitting on the bar stools and hanging out out here. And the person in the kitchen can feel like they're a part of the conversation. So yeah, that's the kitchen. We didn't do too much with it. We, you know, we decorated the shelves a little bit, but didn't go overboard. And then as you come over here, you'll see this is where the entryway is. That is the main door. Living room to my right. And let's go upstairs now. So my bedroom is actually upstairs along with our studio and my bathroom. But once you walk upstairs, there's this little landing. Really haven't done much with it because of these pallets and it just is a small space. But to my left, when you first walk up is my bathroom. I love my bathroom so much. I'm gonna turn this on and it's going to get loud. <laughs> So here is my bathroom. I love my bathroom so much. If you haven't seen my video on remaking my bathroom, I will have that link down below along with all the videos of my makeovers. But we did this wallpaper wall. I've got some cute little knickknacks, rugs. I did the shelf. I love my shower curtain. And yeah, I love my, love my bathroom. It's so cute and cozy. So when you leave my bathroom, straight ahead is the studio. To the left is my bedroom. We'll head in my bedroom first and then head over to the studio. So here is my bedroom. Oh my gosh, my bedroom's beautiful. So when you first walk in, you see my rugs. These are both from World Market. World Market rugs are actually amazing and they're pretty reasonably priced. So I definitely recommend heading there if you're in the market for a rug. But my room is just so cozy. So over here to the left, we have my clothing rack that my parents made for me. In New York, it actually used to be over my bed. My room was so small that I needed to really utilize my space and the space that I had. So I had this over the foot of my bed and it just worked out. But here I can kind of use as a cool, cute little space. So I put my dresser under it. I have a mirror. This mirror falls all the time. I'm very lucky it's not broken yet. But yeah, super cute. I only have like my staple pieces here because I have a huge closet and we have a closet in the studio. But so this is my dresser. I painted this. You'll see in my bedroom makeover that I did a lot of DIYs, including the dresser, including the headboard, including a lot of things. But here's my bed. My bedding is actually from Target. It is just like a creamy linen duvet cover. Pillows my mom made for me. Same with my chandelier, my mom made this. So cool, we call it the chandelier. And then I kind of just did like this fabric headboard. To the right of my bed, I just have this shelf with some knickknacks and some plants. My Playboy frames, another plant, another plant, another plant. I have such a beautiful view from my room as well with these huge windows and a view of the river, which is so cool. This plant has grown so much since I moved in. And then to the right is my desk. This desk my dad actually made for me. We used an old school desk and made a new tabletop and a new drawer for it. I've had this with me since college. I had it in New York and now I have it here. I love it so much. It's super wide and, and deep, so I can have many things, including my desktop on here, plants, snacks, all of the above. We have another chandelier in the corner. This was my first chandelier, 
and this was what stemmed the love for the chandelier. I got this cool chair on Facebook Marketplace. You'll see this propagation wall. These roots have grown so much. They're definitely like ready to plant if I wanted. I just, I like the look of this. <laughs> I don't really feel like planting them, but they will be ready for me when it's time. And then I have this mirror that I got on Facebook Marketplace. <laughs> When I moved here, I seriously lived on Facebook Marketplace and I would just check it every single day and I found a lot of cool finds. So if you guys are furnishing your apartment, I definitely recommend Facebook Marketplace, thrifting, garage sales, anything secondhand. You're gonna save so much and like a used dresser is pretty much the same thing as a new dresser. So when you walk out of my bedroom, and go left, this is our studio. You can also see it's like a ledge, so you can see over into the living room, dining room space. I love this. I film TikToks from like this point of view. It just makes this space look so cool. So love this view and you can see out the windows. It's amazing. So as you walk in the studio, you can see this whole space. This was the first room I made over. We like to call this our iCarly studio or Nickelodeon studio because it really does give those vibes. Rug never wants to stay unwrinkled. So don't get a rug from rugs.com. We made this just so that if we're doing a photo shoot and we have guests and they need a place to sit and then we just kind of hung a bunch of little trinkets. I have this wet floor sign that I stole from the standard on Halloween in 2019. Also we have this huge closet in here that it looks like it's just too deep but when you open it it's probably messy but it goes all the way back. It's wild. It's huge. So I keep some clothes in here. Lauren keeps clothes she's selling in there. And then on this side is our little studio space. So we have a backdrop. We've got a couple of different colors we use up right now is white. This locker where these doors never want to stay shut. We actually got this locker from like a Lord and Taylor closing sale. This is what they used to use in like the back and we just spray painted it and now use it as storage and it's really cool and cute. Here is my mirror that I took hours to make and I'm so proud of but it's so heavy and I don't think I can take it to another apartment it's just gonna be stranded here it's so good for mirror picks though and like it makes the space look so much bigger so cool and industrial we have this fun light that I got on Facebook marketplace ladder this is just some storage with camera equipment ring light it's not set up right now Another ring light, tripods, you know the deal. And yeah, that's the studio. It's a lot of fun. We use it kind of often. I wish I could use it more. I just don't have the time. Here's another view of the living room. So beautiful. And that's like pretty much it. So let's head downstairs to end this thing off. And that is my apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like this video and subscribe down below. If you're new to my channel from this video, hello, my name is Lauren. I live in Vermont. This is my apartment. I love doing home makeover videos, lifestyle content, fashion content. You know the deal. So please subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys next week with another new video. Bye.